Welcome back to Lucky Strike Tech, and today we're taking a look at one of the best microphones that I've had on the channel so far. Well, at least the most impressive wireless one. This is the Comica Boom XD. It's a wireless lavalier microphone system that comes with really everything you need to make wireless microphone videos. And we're gonna put it to the test by making this entire video voiceover using my voice with this microphone. There are quite a few different configurations you can use with this microphone as well. It does come with two receivers, two sets of lavaliers that you can clip into the front, which has a really nice clipping mechanism as well. Real-time monitoring on the receiver as well. And you can adjust the input gain on both of those. And you can actually have a visual screen on both the microphone part and on the receiver part. And I'll show some B-roll exactly what explaining that is. In the box, it comes in this very stylish and sturdy case. Two microphones, one receiver, all with that really nice clips on them. They also have an input gain that you can adjust on the fly per connected device, which really is just the two channels. Oh, and also comes with a mute. You get two lavaliers that can attach to your microphone, an auxiliary adapter for mobile and for cameras. And I think this is the three in one USB charger. Yes, yes it is. Basically you can charge all three of these devices in one single cable, which is extremely convenient. I honestly wish a lot of USB-C cables came this way. Last, it came with just two little windscreens so you can block out any wind you experience when recording outside. They should just pop on like, whoops. Yeah, like that. All three devices come with a screen so you can check its input and connection. So there's no question if something's working or not. You can definitely tell these are attempting to go head and head with the Rode too. There's a similar price point and I think Comica is trying to be a better bang for the buck option. I'm sorry I don't actually have a Rode 2 to compare this to, it is actually kind of frustrating, but what I can say is that this is better than any wireless microphone I've ever used in my experience. Okay, this is my last test of this video. I'm going to just see how far this can go in my backyard because I don't really feel like going out on the street. Uh, excuse the mess, but we're gonna see how far this can really go travel-wise and just keep talking throughout this video. Uh, this is set as negative six dB right now, so it should be you know, least background noise as possible and uh, it should just be okay overall. I wonder if it's still going. I'm gonna go to the very back wall and we'll just keep talking and see when the connection finally breaks up. I think this thing can probably go this far. Here I am. Let me know if I'm still talking. Now these are high quality made. When you pull them out of the container, you're kind of impressed by the overall quality of these and aren't really left anything to the imagination as far as if they're gonna be good or not because you immediately know, yes, they're probably gonna be good. You're paying a hefty price for these. They're not in the budget range, I'd say, but they're not in the premium range either. So if these can stack up to something like the Rode 2, I'd be super impressed. Unfortunately, I don't have that microphone on hand to test against. So we're gonna just have to see how this compares on its own. Maybe compare it to something like an actual just microphone you'd have on your desk. They have an advertised range of 350 feet about or 100 meters, which I'll test that out later in this video. A low latency of 20 milliseconds and using a 2.4 gigahertz connection. The one thing I will kind of say is that as far as picking up background noise, you can adjust the input gain so you can see if it can pick up less background noise as time goes. Actually, you know what? In this video, let's just try that now. I'm gonna turn this down. There, I'm sitting at about negative two dB right now to see if, you know, is it picking up less background noise? I do have my PC running behind me. I've got clothes in the dryer on the other side of this room. Is the sound picking up less? So that's kind of a good initial test. Now let's drop it down to negative four. All right, this is negative four, and we're gonna see it's probably a lot quieter, but we'll see, is the background noise still getting picked up just as much, or are things way improved? Another thing we're gonna test out here is the lavalier system on this. See how the quality is, see what it sounds like when you're talking into it, and also with the input gain, to see if it picks up less or more background noise. So, this is obviously the initial sound test, this entire video, with this hooked up to me, and we're gonna try the lavalier next. All right, so this is the sound test with the lavalier installed as well. If I move it around, bump it around, maybe you can hear a little bit of scratchiness, but I think the lavalier system is really good on this. I think they came with really high quality cables, really high quality lavaliers, and the clip system. Let me just show you what that looks like real quick. Because the clips in this microphone, if you look closely, it has this inserted thing right here. So when you put it in, it snaps in just right. It's a really good system overall, and I'm a big fan of it. But I can see myself comfortably using this, going on walks, recording videos outside, or you know, I'm mostly inside my videos, but anyway, you get the picture. I'm kind of done using a microphone boom arm at all the time and having to have it right in front of me in the right position. Now I can film wherever I want in this room. Thank goodness. Anyway, let me know what you think. Maybe put in the comments down below. Is the lavalier better or is using just the box itself with a microphone built onto it any better? If you want to pick up the Comica Boom XD, I will drop a link in the description down below where you can pick one up. They're available on Amazon for about $200 at this time. And an overall great option for the price when making videos. In fact, I plan on making PC build videos where I'm kind of building PCs with a friend. So if that happens, I will need this system in order to have good audio pickup from that. 
Otherwise, you know, it could run into some serious problems. And I've seen people use less quality than these to make just fine videos on YouTube, even professionals. So there's nothing wrong with something around this price range if it gets the job done. Thanks for watching Lucky Strike Tech. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you want to subscribe, please do so. I got tons of videos like this out about all sorts of cool tech. Thanks for your setup. Thanks for making videos. I'm really into the whole shebang. This isn't a tech channel focused on one thing, but I do have videos on various different things from my experience in tech. Mice, keyboards, setups, lighting, you name it. So things will only get improved from here as you go. So please stick around. I'd love to see you subscribe.